they're good. I, you know, I, I've said all along, I, I really like Shrew's team, and, and um, you know, it's they're old. They're so old. Um, you know, they execute. They run great offense. And uh, when you uh, don't show up to play with much bite or much fight, uh, this is what happens in the Big Ten. You know, you 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 have an off night, and it was. You know, get it to six or seven or eight or whatever it was, and and then we foul. You know, the guy who had 41 tonight. So uh, Pickett's tr tremendous. We let him walk into two threes um, to start the game. Uh, let him get his rhythm. Let him feel good. Uh, we we did everything we we, we said we weren't going to do uh, or tried to do. Uh, but uh, again, uh, I didn't have much to say to the team afterwards except let's go home and get ready for the next one. Um, you know, it's a pretty helpless feeling when you didn't put up much of a fight tonight. Brian, uh, Pickett usually doesn't hit that many threes. Uh, how, how much more dangerous is he when he's able to get it going? He probably pressing? when he does that. You know, and then you can, you can, you know, he can keep the ball for, you know, he can keep the ball for 20 seconds. You know, I mean, we had a 14-second possession in the, in, in the game at our place. And, you know, it's not the NBA where they have a five-second rule, you know, allowing you to, to, to back in. And, um, you know, it, it becomes impossible to guard because he can just hold the ball all night. And you know, college basketball, in my opinion, needs to needs to look at that rule. Um, but uh, you know, when the guy can keep the ball and, and just keep, and you can't guard it, he turns his back and you can't you can't you can't touch him. And and then when he makes threes, um, we let him walk into the first two. We went under him, and then we didn't even try to close out. Um, that hasn't been us. Uh, but again, I'm I'm not taking anything away from them. They are they were great tonight, and and they probably would have beat the Celtics. Brad, I mean, defense the last ten games has been pretty good. I mean, was it just the effort tonight, or were there some other? Things? Oh, there's some communication issues, and and I thought we showed some youth tonight um, and inexperience. We tried to do a, you know, we, we we tried to push up a little bit on on funk screens with him. Uh, but you got to really communicate that. You got to be very vocal with that, and and we just we, we blew almost every one of them. Uh, we didn't practice it for a couple of days, but um, yeah, and you combine that with with how good they are. Um, you know, you pick your poison with this team, whether whether you want to let them make threes or you know pick it in the post, and and uh, um, but you know, and then we. You know, we shot horrendously from the three, so that didn't help either. You got back to doing some switching. Did they force you to do that? And yeah. yeah. Were you trying to find an answer to with that? Yeah, they, they, that's their whole deal. Is that's, that's why they're really hard to guard. Is, is, and it's real, why it's really hard to guard to play little guards. Okay? And, and you, you pick your poison who you want to put them on. Um, you know, our debate all week was do we put, you know, Jaden and, and Sincere on, on uh, Dredd? You know, or their big guy, uh, because they force you to switch. Because Funk is is an elite screener, and then he blurs a lot, and uh, you know they force you to, to, to handle that switch. Uh, the three times we didn't, he shot naked layups, and so um, yeah, I mean they, they do as much guard on guard screening uh, because of Pickett uh, than anybody in the country. And then when you can keep the ball all night, you never have to give it up. Um, you know, and if you blitz him, you know, he passes it out. And I think they're one of the best teams in the country in lowest turnover rate out of double teams. So it's a good offensive team. You know, it's a, it's a really good offensive team. And, and uh, uh, but I think we missed 20 shots in the first half. We had one offensive rebound. So I'll tell you where our, our, our effort and our mental capacity was today. I guess news before the game that Zach was leaving the program, going back to France was. That a sudden thing, or how did that very go? Very, and you know, it's it's what you deal with 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 you know some international kids and having an opportunity to go, uh, you know, go make it a career, and so wish him nothing but the best. And we've got so many games left, and you know, I'm not too worried about a guy that wasn't helping us win games. So um, just an unfortunate, um, you know, or fortunate, however you want to look at it for him. Um, I don't like I said. I'm worried about the guys that are in that locker room.
I guess maybe not having much to say to the team afterwards, just to maybe get all me. Just how do you view this game, maybe in the broader scale of what you've done over the last month or so? One game and twenty. I mean, everybody in this league's going through has, is going through or has gone through a moment, and you can't dwell on it. We got five games, five games in like nine days. Okay, with the with the COVID game. So if you think I want to not get home and try to get rest, and we got Indiana and then Minnesota on Monday and then Northwestern. So um, yeah, it's we we can't dwell on it. We got to play better. We got to play harder. Just an off night for Dane. Seemed to play through him well at Iowa and then Rutgers. Was that just a, a game where he didn't have it? Yeah. Yeah. Along with a lot of other dudes. Thank you. We'll have to tie parents in this hallway when they're ready.